You don't you wanna pay attention? Do you wanna pay attention? Awesome! He's with us! These are beautiful, so if you're Oh, whoever wins this box is gonna get a little, you got a little noodle stain. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is the show where we find out what everyday items our everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. So we are, I almost said so excited because I always say so excited, but I am jubilant to share with you the Sarah Henry box uh, that Sarah so thoughtfully curated for us. So Sarah is a small batch ceramics artist and she's based in Victoria, British Columbia. And she makes her, uh, her different types of ceramics based on this passion she has for functional objects and for working with her hands. So Sarah, we are so grateful that you took the time to curate this box for us. Noodle is riveted. As soon as I told him we were featuring Sarah Henry ceramics, he was like, oh my God. Okay, so let's open the box. I'm really excited to open this. It's full. This is full. Oh, oh, I like the very first thing I see. I really, really like. They're Birkenstocks. They're not my size, because I can assume these are women's, but they're very close to my size. And I'm not saying that because I have particularly small feet. I'm saying that because I have particularly dainty. Uh, Birkenstocks are a pair of shoes that I have always had growing up. As an upstate New Yorker, you always had a pair of Birkenstocks to walk around. And what was really gauche in the winter is sometimes you would wear wool socks with your Birkenstocks. And then you'd walk around your high school because the stakes were really low and you had no idea how hard life was gonna be. I just heard that Sarah not only likes to wear these in the summer, but she also likes to wear them in the winter with her socks because she's a freak like me. That's the way to go, Birkenstocks are the versatile shoe. What you do is they have little adjustable sort of straps here and what you, you change them with the seasons. Sarah lets us know that it's really important to have shoes like this, not only because she likes to you know, just kind of walk around in them in the summer, because they're very, very comfortable, and she also says that it's really important for her to have them because she can slip them on because her hands are usually covered in clay. I love that these are in here. I've been obsessed with Birkenstocks for a very long time. Check these out. Sarah, you and I are totally kindred. The next item we have in the Sarah Henry box is a calendar. It's a calendar. When you're running your own business or you're even starting your own business, you know, how important is it to not only uh, write down goals for, you know, I have to have this done next month, I have to have you know, my finances in line in three months, I have to be able to turn a profit in a year, whatever it might be. No, see, the moment I start talking about finance, he's like, get me away from it. You pay for everything and that's all. What is this, what is this? He just turned and straight up was like, I don't wanna be on camera today, here's my ass. Oh, bless you. Oh, gross, do you wanna see what just happened? Do you see that? Welcome back, Do what do you think of the calendar? Let's go to his birthday month, July, and let's see what he does. Can you find your little birthday here? There, Father. Oh my God, Noodle, that's crazy, you found it. So Noodle's birthday is July 4th, because he is the great American pug. Uh, but I, again, I uh, uh, back to this, sort of back to the calendar. So this is made by another friend of hers, another, um, you know, artist, creator, and I think that speaks again to her uh, sort of penchant for buying local and for shopping local and for supporting local artists. I know that she does the majority of her work in her hometown with fairs and shows and just inviting people to see her work. Noodle, I can't wait for your birthday this year. He's gonna turn 12. Okay, the next item we have in the Sarah Henry box is small notepads. Empty notepads, empty, empty little notepads. And then I'm, yep, I knew it, I knew it. Pens. So here we've got notepads and pens. You know, you're, you're walking around town, 
you've got this in your purse, you've got this in your bag, you're at a coffee shop and you see a little pot in the corner or something, you see a, a mug, you see a new shape of something that you really like and you sketch it, right? This must be such an incredible tool to have when you have that sort of moment of inspiration. You can't, oh my God, he's so desperate to eat, he's ready to eat a ballpoint pen. You, well, you simply can't do that, Noodle. There's a lot going on here and none of it's good for you. So I do, I love that this is included. I think this is really smart. And I like that she put three of them in here. You know, I like that there are a lot of them. This idea that you have a lot of ideas, don't hesitate to write anything down. Let yourself go. That is that item. I am thrilled with those. I still cannot get over the Birkenstocks. I'm gonna have them fit my, fit my feet. I'm gonna have a fitting. What is it? You can't have another snack. You simply can't have another snack. Okay, okay, the next item we've got in this box is, hmm, what is this? Looks like an array of sort of small wooden sort of, sort of bits. Noodle, I don't think, I don't think these are snacks. I don't, in no way do I think these are snacks. I think you gotta watch them. Oh, they're tools! Oh my God! These are tools for, for pottery. Okay, what? I thought they were small ornaments or even a weapon, but that's not true. That's not who Sarah is. These are pieces that were made uh, for helping to shape clay while it's on the wheel. The, the clay moving thing. Have you guys ever watched people actually make pottery? It's, it's, it's staggering. They're on like this little spinny, little spinny baby. And you've got a big kind of clay, kind of clay baby on there. And then you use your hands and you use your tools to kind of shape it. And these I can, you know, you've got some, some right angles here. You've got some so, sort of circular kind of shapes. And then this, which looks kind of like a bean. And I really like, and I don't know what you use it for as far as shape wise, but I bet it's impactful. And then this I love, cause this is just kind of horrifying. I'm kind of geeking out about this. I don't do, again, I don't do pottery, but I do love people who find passion in things. And I think that this is a, once again, whether it's a hobby or a profession, having the right tools of the trade is the way to go. I'm gonna put these back nice and safe in their little packaging. Uh, uh, Garrity Tools, Garrity, whoever you are, Mr. Garrity, Mrs. Garrity, Ms. Garrity. You did a fabulous job with these, they're beautiful. Okay, the next item we've got, Jesus, in this box is, it was so hard for me to pull out, it's, this is five pounds. It says right here, this box is 5.3 pounds, and I was like, nah. But anyway, so this is, I don't know what this is, it says Tivoli Audio. Oh, it's, it's a, it's a radio. This is gorgeous. So it has FM, it's an FM AM radio. You can do all the current stuff with it as far as listening to music goes, but it's got this really retro kind of feel to it. And I bet that Sarah List uses this when she's in her studio. This is a really, really nice radio. And again, it's Bluetooth, so you can play your music from your phone or you can play any radio station on here. It's beautiful, this is great. This is great. And to top it all off, the very last item we have in this box, is one of her beautiful plates. This is something that I would be super proud to have in my home. This is a really well-made piece of pottery. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's got these little brown sort of speckles in it. Um, it's got her, look, she's got a little signature on the back here. And it's cool whenever you hold a piece that someone made and you know how passionate they are about what they do. And you know that this wasn't something that she was like, we need to make 50 of these, get them out the door. Like she sat there and she created this. I wonder if she makes dog bowls. He seems wildly crazy interested in those. He's like, I want one! Sarah, you should be so proud of yourself. You have a lot of talent. Okay, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Noodle and I really appreciate you taking the time. And if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure to ring the bell so you can get notifications anytime a new episode of the Tools of the Trade goes live or another uh, GoDaddy series like Fucked Up with Funder or Made in America. You'll get a notification that those videos are up and you can run to your computer to watch them. 
Uh, so again, for Noodle and for myself, thank you so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you next week. Bye.